Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the NBA 2K League. We have done it. We have gone through so many days, but it is the final remote day of the NBA 2K League season. Well, let's get into our schedule for tonight. Cavs Legion GC taking on Bucks Gaming. They'll open things up for us at 6 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> I would say these guys seriously. Take your game upset like crazy. Let's not do one of them. Take this, take these guys seriously. Get the job done. Let's finish them in two games, and we'll keep going. It, it, it doesn't matter unless they get past this round. So we gotta get past this round. Take your game seriously. Let's not get upset like the other good teams that have them. So let's go, fellas. Come on. Let's get into some gameplay. Cavs leads and GC Bucks gaming. They'll open things up here. Our final day of remote gameplay here at the 2023 NBA 2K League season. Hopefully it's a good one. Our draw was the Cavs uh, at a best of three remote in here in the last series of the facility. Uh, and we liked our chances. Obviously we had a really good uh, group play, five and one, only lost the Warriors game of the week in a close one uh, in the end there. And then, I mean, we had the Cavs were a solid team. We knew they were familiar with a lot of our sets of plays, um, kind of our play style, uh, but we were the very, we were, Definitely the favorites, heavy favorites, I would say. Yeah, the East versus West matchup, like every matchup has been here so far to kick off our first round of the turn power by AT&T. As Cooks will find himself a lane and throw it down. We felt like the time bracket was made for us to win it this year. Um, probably the best bracket that we could have imagined, like watching the Warriors lose and then Gen G lost and we thought we kind of had like a free path, but you gotta worry about what's in front of you, but we just didn't handle the cast how it's supposed to. Oh, Johnny gets it. That's oh, going to no. be deep, too, if it drops. High arcing it off. Break. Nothing there, though. As they try to move quickly, they get the ball over to Fayez, and he throws it down right on Dawson. Six. Cavs oh, Legion again no. back on defense. Now they run the break on the other side. Fayez throws it down again. A turnover and another slam from Fayez. I mean, I just think we had a bad day. We typically hit our shots. We shoot the best percentage in the league. Probably not anymore. And but we used to at a point. So that one lot. point game as Johnny Red has VC in front of him. Only five seconds to work, we're getting bumped around. They find Dawsix open in the corner, and it's back-to-back -back misses coming out there from Dawsix. Well, I say this a whole bunch of, you know, stuff just by itself could lose you a game, but when you combine them all together, you know, that's a key recipe to make you lose. It's looking like Cavs Legion, they're gonna take this game number one, as Bucks here trying to get something going. Dom will take the mid-range jumper. Walnut will get the offensive board. And that'll do it. Cavs Legion, they strike first in game one of a best of three. And now Bucks game, their backs are against the wall. Just so sort of in the stick. I mean, we're a better team without the percentages. Some fans, we started missing open shots. Like, honestly, that'd be the only way we lose. I don't see us ever getting bought. So we're playing, we just have no solution. You know, they just got what? Honestly, game one was definitely on me. Uh, my shots just came on it. Kept being aggressive. Game one, it was uh, our first half went really, really well. In game one, we just couldn't stretch the lead to where we wanted to. And that ended up hurting us in the second half when we just kind of slipped at the end. Missed some big shots that we normally hit throughout the season in the five out. And they capitalized on that and, and stole a game one that was crucial. I've seen just a best of three remote. Anything could happen in this league. from game one to game two. We just weren't able to find it in game two, and that's better. Cavs Legion Bucks Gaming. Cleveland's got a 1-0 series lead. They need to complete the sweep to snag a spot in the NBA 2K League playoffs. Can they get it done? Can they close out the upset? Let's see if they got what it takes. And what a strange game this has been so far for Milwaukee. Here, going into the second half, just seven points for Johnny Red. Got three for Cooks. The scoring's been coming from Bumpy Don, Dawsix, and one wild walnut. Can we get a listening? Can we hear some comms? We got you, my friend. Here's a Bucks gaming listening. Yeah. Stay in their eyes. 
T-Wolves Gaming, Bucks Gaming, Warriors Gaming Squad, and Gen G. Four of, you could argue, the five best teams in the league out of the turn before we even get to in-person. I mean, this, this tournament is always chaotic. It's always fun. It's always going to leave you, you know, with something unexpected. But I did not expect this kind of performance from the best teams in the league. So I just need them to really pick it up, but take this L and learn from it. It's the perfect time to take this L. It's the perfect time to take that punch. The offense was egregious. Egregious. Y'all shooting? At the time, egregious. Now's that time. Take that lesson. Learn from it. Take every flaw. Fix it. It's playoffs. It's for way more money. So you didn't lose yet. Playoffs way more important. Come with it. We lost. It is what it is. It happens. Uh, you just got to make sure at playoffs. Because now it's only one series. Like, we literally could be our last series with this five. Um, so we just got to stay locked in mentally and put the firm behind us. The big money's in the playoffs, you know, I hope we can win championship. But, I mean, this improvement on this executing month, like, we have what we need to, you know, win. You've got to execute it. You know, while it's on game time. I mean, before the Cavs, yeah, you know, good feel with the scrounge. So I'd say just execute. I feel like we did. We got everything we got to. We got to keep, you know, trying to get better next year. Game two, they just came out and they did it because they came back and beat us. But right now, we're just preparing for the playoffs and getting ready to defend the championship and bring it on another one to Milwaukee.